Hi guys, today we'll talk about common blood test and their normal and optimal ranges. HP1AC blood test, what is normal range is less than 5.7, optimal is less than 5.4. Fasting insulin, normal range is less than 25, optimal is less than 5. Homocysteine, normal is less than 15, optimal is less than 10. HSCRP, normal is less than 1, optimal is also less than 1. Now, we let us come to vitamin profile. Vitamin D, normal is greater than 30, optimal is greater than 60. Vitamin B12, normal is greater than 220, optimal is greater than 600. Vitamin B9, Folate, uh, normal is greater than T, optimal is greater than 10. Now let us talk about thyroid. TSH, normal is 0.4 to 4, optimal is 1 to 2. Uh, free T3, uh, normal is 2 to 4.4, optimal is 3.2 to 4.2. We are discussing about ranges of blood test and normal and optimal. Free T4 is normal 0.8 to 1.77, optimal is 1 to 1.5. Total cholesterol uh, is normal is less than 200, optimal is distribution matters. HDL for men, normal is greater than 40, optimal is greater than 50. Uh, HDL women, normal is greater than 50, optimal is greater than 60. Triglycerides, normal is less than 150, optimal is less than 100. LDL, uh, normal is less than 100, optimal is less than 100. TG bar HDL ratio, normal is less than 2, optimal is approximately 1. The another blood test which is called as APOB, uh, this is to be done every 3 to 4 years and normal is less than 90, optimal is less than 80. Uh, the next test is LP bracket A, uh, the readings are in mg per deciliter, normal is less than 50, optimal is less than 30. Uh, next one test is hemoglobin men, uh, gram per deciliter, normal is 13.5 to 17.5, optimal is 14. Hemoglobin for women, normal is 12 to 15.5, optimal is 13. Next test is ferritin, uh, which is uh, again measured in UG per liter. Normal is 12 to 300, optimal is 40 to 90. Uh, next is total testosterone. For men, it is measured in NG per deciliter. Normal is 300 to 1000, optimal is 600. Next is free testosterone. PG per milliliter. Normal is greater than 50. Optimal is 15. Next one is creatine, uh, which is measured for kidney health. MG per deciliter. Normal is 0 0.6 to 1.3. Optimal is less than 1. Uric acid. MG per deciliter. Normal is 3.4 to 7.2. Optimal is less than 5.5. Uh, fasting glucose. Mg per deciliter, normal is 70 to 99, optimal is 65 to 85. Next is PPBS, postprandial glucose. Mg per deciliter, normal is less than 140, optimal is less than 120. Uh, postprandial insulin, okay, normal is less than 40, optimal is less than 20. GGT, uh, Normal is less than 50, optimal is less than 25. Next one is SGOT. Normal is 8 to 48, optimal is less than 20. ALT, SGPT. Normal is 7 to 55, optimal is less than 20. Uh, serum albumin, uh, gram per deciliter. Normal is 3.5 to 5, optimal is 4 to 5. Total bilirubin, mg per deciliter, 
normal is 0.1 to 1.2, optimal is 0.3 to 1. Next one is ALP. ALP, uh, the ranges is normal is 40 to 129, optimal is 30 to 80. Burn, normal is 6 to 120, uh, optimal is 10 to 16. Uh, next test is calcium, mg per deciliter. Normal is 8.7 to 10.2, optimal is 9.2 to 10. Next one is sodium. Sodium uh, readings are normal is normal uh, 135 to 145, optimal is 137 to 142. Chloride, normal is 96 to 106, optimal is 100 to 106. Uh, next test is serum iron. Normal is 60 to 170, optimal is 85 to 130. So these are the major tests guys. Uh, thanks for watching my TV, uh, my video. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. There may be slight variations uh, in the readings depending upon the labs. The gap between the normal ranges and optimal value is where your everything is fine. But I am not feeling a uh, good problem. Uh, feeling like uh, should not be there. So please take care uh, of your uh, report. Please show it to your doctor, medical practitioner. Don't make any conclusion based on this video. Uh, like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the world of blood tests, exploring the distinction between normal and optimal ranges. Understanding these ranges can be the key to unlocking better health, revealing when something may be off, even if results fall within the normal category. To start, let's consider HbA1c, with normal levels under 5.7% and optimal levels below 5.4%. This test assesses blood sugar levels over time, making it crucial for diabetes management. Similar attention should be paid to fasting insulin levels, ideally under 5 UIU per day. ML while normal levels can reach up to 25. High fasting insulin often signals issues with insulin sensitivity, hinting that one might not feel their best despite normal results. The list continues with vitamins and other markers. Vitamin D should be higher than 16 a card. ML for optimal health while vitamin B12 is best above 600 pg ML. Both play vital roles in energy levels and overall health. Additionally, check homocysteine levels, where an optimal value is below 10 mol L, helping to reduce cardiovascular risks. Considering thyroid function, TSH should ideally range between 1 to IUML. Anything in the normal range could mask potential thyroid issues. Furthermore, assessing cholesterol levels is essential. While total cholesterol should be under 200 mg DL, what truly matters is the distribution of LDL and HDL with optimal HDL levels for men being above 50 mg DL and 60 mg DL for women. Remember, a high HDL and low LDL signifies a heart healthy state. Let's not overlook important minerals, calcium levels ranging between 9.2 to 10.0 mL. DL ensures strong bones while adequate iron levels, ideally between 85 to 130 mL DL, prevent fatigue. The importance of these tests cannot be overstated as they provide a comprehensive view of your health. Distinguishing between normal and optimal can reveal underlying issues that may be sapping your energy and vitality. In conclusion, the gap between normal and optimal values often holds the answers for those struggling with the sensation of everything is fine but I'm not feeling good. Regular testing and understanding these numbers empower you to take charge of your health. So, keep an eye on your blood test results and remember, optimal health is just within reach. Stay tuned for more insights in future videos.